All right, how's it going, everybody? I hope that, uh, let's see this. Maybe this is better, I don't know. Hope that you guys are able to see this correctly. This is a live um, oil painting session with artist Jose Trujillo. And here we go. This is going to be a, one of my simple approach approaches, I guess, to, uh, sorry for the shakiness, uh, approaches to, to a landscape painting. So one of the things I like to do, as you guys have seen, I like to use this little charcoal. Sometimes I use this ones, sometimes I use these bigger ones. For the bigger paintings, usually work better, but these ones are perfect for the smaller paintings. The way I like to do it is that I like to doodle into the canvas. So here we go. It's not so much shakiness, it's this, okay? This is the... It's, it's really, you know that saying where people say it's really on the wrist? Well, for me, I feel like it is. Because I'm trying to use as much as, you know, it's this thing. I'm trying to use as much information. And it's very intuitive. So I'm trying to use as much information as, a, as I can be provided when I'm creating artwork and not really think so much on on what things should be but just try to express it as opposed to to uh, I don't know trying to nail it let's call it that okay so here we go I'm gonna start with my darker tones Not darkest, but darker. <laughs> okay. Again, very simple. It's a, sort of an impressionist approach to things. Um, it's not even, I mean, it's not even fair to say impressionist, right? I know a lot of people don't. It's it, it's not even that right, but it's but it's uh, it's what we a lot of modern painters use to gauge brushstroke and to gauge uh, uh, color even you know. So we kind of just call it impressionism. It has a nice uh, nostalgic ring to it. So why not? Take some purple and blue. I like to use the oxys of purple to create some sort of shadow effect. Now if you're doing shadows on, on as you all know, or the ones that don't know, let me tell you, if you're doing shadows on grass, the grass becomes darker. It doesn't change color unless you're doing a colorist piece, piece then it makes you know total sense that you do that. Doesn't have to make sense, I'm just saying. <laughs> Does it really have to make sense? Painting, I don't think, makes sense. I think uh, illustrating may make sense uh, sometimes. Um, but when you're actually painting, I don't really think it, it really uh, makes much sense. Painting tends to do what it wants. Allowing it is really the magic. If uh, if we don't work on you know letting it do its thing, um, we always tend to have a problem with it. It becomes more challenging, and it's a dance. You know, it's a dance. It's it's a 
It's a very interesting dance. Um, I've spent my life, um, especially the, this last years, figuring out, you know, paying attention, observing, not not so much thinking about it, but observing what is it that makes this dance uh, between the the artist and the canvas. What makes it so? Um, what makes the magic? You know? And I figured out a few things, but amongst uh, some of the most important ones, I guess the one on the some on the very top has to do with uh, you. You really have to be engaged in it. You can't be painting from back here. You have to really engage. As a matter of fact, I would recommend people if you don't feel like painting or you feel like like uh, you're not in the in the flow, get really close to it and slow down. Now, I'm not talking about um, slow down um, to try to nail the colors. I'm talking about slow down as you're creating the work, kind of like this. You, know? you slow down a little bit. What that does is that it gets you in there. Because the mind is trying to run away from, um, from it. The mind tries to... Um, Sort of a, it either tries to rush it when it's not in the flow, and rushing is not being in the flow. You could be very fast, but it doesn't mean you're in the flow. Being in the flow is, is being one with it. And I know it sounds very Star Wars, something that Yoda would say, but <laughs> but it really is. It really is in my experience. I, I, I It's not something I believe. Uh, it's something that I know. And I know that it sounds strange, but um, it's experiential. It's not something that, oh, yeah, I believe that. Oh, yeah, 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 because this, this guy said this or that guy said that. No, it's something that I've experienced. Therefore, I know the, 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 the truth of it. I know how true that is, how, true, how truthful that is. I, I've, um, I've had that experience many, many times in order for me to understand what it is. See, so something like that. If you want your moon or your sun, whatever, to uh, to really stand out, uh, it's very simple. You can't make the white wider, so you have to darken everything around it. I know it's such a silly concept, but but it's worth noting. Uh, many artists, um, we try to go lighter and lighter and lighter, and that's good if you're you know, if you're doing colorist work and Faubis Faubis type of work like myself. That's awesome. You know, that's the thing. But if you want to add an element or some sort of realism, then you have to make you have to make certain uh, observations. You know, if, if you're going to put a moon and you want it to stand out, uh, many people think that it's in the, in the aura around it or this or that. And yeah, that, that plays a game. Uh, uh, you know, it plays a part in there. But really what it does, what does the trick is that the light around it, it's darkened. It's really, you can't see, you can't appreciate light unless things are dark around it. It's a little hard to appreciate it. One way the Impressionists did this is by doing burnt sienna games, you know, a light brushwork and uh, purples and blues, playing a lot with French ultramarine and, and you know, type of blues like that. And you kind of darken that without using very hard, you know, earth tones or or black. Doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't matter how you do it. How it's not. 
it's not as important, it's not even that important. One needle trick if you want to do something like this is just to go around it like that. Well, I guess that's not a very neat trick. <laughs> but you get the point. Gotta clean it around. It. You can even add different dimensions of blues to create a bit more drama if you need to. If that calls you. I'm into the drama. <laughs> My name is Jose Trujillo. I hope you enjoy this. I will be posting more uh, paintings soon. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.